Absolutely. Young people should be concerned about lung cancer, especially those who are smoking either cigarettes, tobacco products like midwak, shisha, or uh, who are vaping. Uh, because we know that the more you smoke and for a greater duration, your risk of malignancy, specifically lung cancer, goes up. Uh, so if you are smoking, uh, then what I would recommend is to come to Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi uh, for our smoking cessation program or go somewhere else to help yourself quit um, and get rid of and decrease your risk of malignancies. So we know that 85% to 90% of all uh, lung cancer patients have a history of smoking in the past. Smoking is the most common risk factor amongst uh, newly diagnosed lung cancer patients and one that we can easily modify by decreasing the instance and prevalence of smoking. So clearly smoking is something we can work on and something that's directly linked to lung cancer. Traditionally, the detection of lung cancer would happen when people came to us with symptoms. This could be cough that's unresolving, weight loss, coughing up of blood. Uh, but most of these patients would unfortunately be detected when the cancer had spread. So this would be cancer that is detected at a later stage and cancer that is potentially not curable at that point. The purpose of our program here with lung cancer screening is try to detect it earlier when the symptoms have not yet developed. So lung cancer screening is specifically designed for people who are at high risk. This is people who have smoked for 30 or more pack years, which is one packet a day for 30 years, or who have smoked shisha or midwak for more than 20 years and are over 50 years of age. Those people will come to our program and after uh, a shared decision-making program, we would decide on lung cancer screening. This is usually done with a low dose CT scan of the chest, which is often done on an annual basis, unless we detect something, in which case we might do it more frequently or we may do an intervention. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the screening program at CCAD is uh, one that is designed to identify patients who are at high risk for lung cancer. Uh, the guidelines that we use are those that have been given to us by the Department of Health uh, and are based on uh, studies that have been done in Europe and the US. Uh, the patient who comes to a lung cancer screening program after being assessed will likely get a low dose CT scan, which is a scan in which they get low dose of radiation as opposed to a routine CT scan. Uh, and after the scan, they would follow up with us in our clinic. We would discuss the results. For patients who have a clear scan, we would usually do annual interval scans. So we know that patients who have lung cancer detected through a screening program have a much greater likelihood of survival because those patients have lung cancer detected at an earlier stage. As I said earlier, if you detect lung cancer earlier, you can cure it. And that's the whole purpose of a lung cancer screening program. So once a patient comes to us and we are able to detect lung cancer, if it is at an earlier stage, like a stage one or stage two cancer, we could potentially cure it by surgery. Other patients might need chemotherapy, specific biological agents or immunotherapy, depending upon the stage of the cancer. So Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi has the distinction of being the only program in the Emirate which has been um, selected for lung cancer screening. In addition to lung cancer screening, we have a very robust smoking cessation program. And I think these two programs working hand in hand really help in not only decreasing the incidence of prevalence of smoking, but also helping in detecting earlier lung cancer patients.